Hello guys, welcome to another video and today I'm going to be talking about Yusuf Fofana as Arsenal have been in talks with his entourage and a deal may be possible in this summer transfer window. But before I go into all that and tell you what type of player he is and how good he actually is, if you're new here or if you're just a normal subscriber, always just smash that like button and turn on those notifications if you haven't already and of course subscribe if you are new here. Let's begin, Yusuf Fofana was born on the 10th of January 1919 and is a French professional footballer who plays as a midfielder for Ligue 1 club Monaco and the French national team. He began his career with various youth academies in Paris before joining the youth academy of Strasbourg on 21 February 2017. He made his professional debut with Strasbourg in a 2-0 Ligue 1 loss to Lyon on 24 August 2018. In January 2020, he signed for Monaco for 15 million euros and made his debut on the 1st of February playing 71 minutes of a 3-1 away defeat to Nîmes. He has made 17 in total caps for the French national team which is really good when you consider there's Chouameni, there's Rabiot, there's Griezmann, there's a lot of quality French midfielders so the fact he's even getting called up and involved in the national team setup is just a testament to how good he is. He has won the Coupe de la Ligue, which is his only trophy so far. So, you know, 25 is at the prime age really now where he wants to take his career to the next level and maybe a move to Arsenal is what is needed for him. Fabrizio Romano has said that he's definitely leaving Monaco. So Arsenal are definitely in the mix for him. We've been talking to his agent. So let's see if a deal can materialise. Let's talk about Yusuf Fofana. He was a prominent figure in AS Monaco's midfield and has showcased his exceptional talents predominantly as a central midfielder. With occasional forays into the defensive midfield role, again, it just goes to show that we know what sort of profile we want. We want somebody that can play in the six and the eight and Fofana can do that to a really, really high level. He's got a penchant for keeping the ball at his feet and driving forward. Fofana's skills and finesse allows him to create attacking opportunities seemingly out of thin air. So he also has that creative ability, you know. You want your 6 or 8 to also have that ability to build up or just create chances in general. And Fofana has that to a T. He's really, really skillful. One of his best traits is his lightning quick feet, enabling him to manoeuvre swiftly in tight spaces. Even when confronted by opposition players eager to dispossess him, Fofana effortlessly evades their advances with subtle touches and clever ball control, leaving his opponents grasping at thin air. So press resistant. We've talked about Bruno Guimaraes and our other midfield targets who are press resistant and Fofana is the same. Really sets Fofana apart is his remarkable ability to deceive and outwit opponents with speed spins, quick ball switches and array of body feints. These techniques coupled with his physical prowess make him nearly impossible to press and I've talked about his press resistance is at a ridiculously high level. We need that strength and grit in the midfield and Fofana definitely has that and he loves to make progressive movements forward. Rather than settling for sideway passes to recycle possession, he prefers to take on players driving with the ball before making incisive through passes to his attacking teammates, effectively exploiting the opposition's defence. So again, he has the ball carrying ability that we need in that number eight position. Declan Rice, when he played there, had some brilliant runs with the ball and you need that to open up defences. And similar with Thomas Partey, he looks to play the ball forward. You know, if we're set to lose Thomas Partey, this guy would be a, an incredible replacement for him he loves to switch the ball like Partey does to Saka so there's so many positives with him he's pretty much what I would say is a perfect party replacement 30 million pounds has most of the abilities that Thomas Partey has with a lot more physicality and a lot more athleticism as well which is key we need athleticism in that midfield with Declan Rice and Fofana can certainly provide that Fofana's passing ability is exceptional. Regardless of the distance involved, even when under pressure, he consistently finds his teammates with pinpoint accuracy. His proficiency in lofting the ball over the opposition's defence by bypassing their midfield and backline to find his forwards is particularly noteworthy. Fofana's long-range passes display remarkable precision and he frequently distributes the ball to both flanks, capitalising on the runs of his teammates. This quick change of play and forward ball movement significantly contributes to his team's swift attacking build-up. And like I've said, we need midfielders who can build the ball up, confident with the ball in tight areas, to then find the next pass to get us into attacking areas. And Fofana is definitely someone you can count on in the build-up phases as a 6 and an 8. For all his technical prowess and physical abilities, 
Fofana possesses an astute understanding of the game, he possesses a keen sense of timing and positioning enabling him to intercept the ball at crucial moments and intelligently block passing lanes. He exhibits exceptional awareness seemingly shifting across the field, dropping back to support the defence or stepping out to press opponents when necessary. Once in possession Fofana wastes no time in transitioning his teammates from defence to attack, distributing the ball to his wingers or playing incisive passes through the opposition's defence. His heightened awareness of his teammates' positioning allows for seamless and efficient transitions, empowering his team's attacking prowess. So, again, with Declan Rice, his timing and reading of the game is to another level. But Fofana is nearly on that same sort of level with the way he reads and understands the game. He knows when to jump in. He knows when to step back. He just possesses an Arteta player, really. Arteta wants his players to be intelligent enough to know when there's an opportunity to win the ball and press, but when you have to settle into a shape. And adding Fofana, who already has that to his game, would be perfect for us. Let's now just look at his productivity and the sort of stats he's pulling up. In 32 games in League I, he got four goals and four assists. Similar stats to Declan Rice, really. Obviously, Declan Rice is a lot more, you know, forward for us in our system towards the end of the season but Fofana is picking up some pretty decent numbers here considering he normally does play as the six. Fofana also has that Champions League experience which is also key for us. Having somebody else in that midfield who can be next to Declan Rice with physical, technical and just genuine experience is definitely needed for us. We saw against Bayern, we lacked a bit of physicality in that midfield with Declan on his own in there. So having Fofana next to him I definitely think would take us to another level. Another thing which is funny is again Fofana has captain Monaco. So again Mikel Arteta wants those players with that sort of captain experience. He wants to bring in leaders, you know. Have you seen with all our targets, Kai Havertz, Julian Timber, Jarel Hato, all of them have had some experience of being a captain. Of course, Declan Rice too at West Ham. So we know what we want. We don't want those young players with minimal experience. We want these players who have had experience of being leaders because a group of leaders will just take you to that next level. I'm not sure if you guys remember, but we actually did play Monaco at the start of last season. And Yusuf Fofana played and I thought he was absolutely incredible. He got a goal from Monaco and was really running that midfield. And it was fitting. He was playing against Thomas Partey and Declan Rice. He picked up an 8.4 rating, which is absolutely incredible. 72% pass accuracy with 64 passes and created one big chance too. Three clearances, four tackles and won eight out of ten of his ground jewels. So again, you can see that this guy is absolute quality. He has what Mikel Arteta wants in a dual winner. And he's just really good in those attacking phases too, creating that chance of scoring that goal. So he pretty much seems like, to me, an upgraded Thomas Partey. He's younger, he's more athletic, he's brilliant on the ball. I don't know about you guys, you've seen the clips in the back and I've talked about what sort of player he is. Uh, can you come to that same conclusion? I know we love Thomas Partey, but he's getting on now. He's like 29 years old. He doesn't really possess that athleticism we need in there. But for Fana has that, plus some more as well. Brilliant intercepting skills like Thomas Partey. So for me, I feel like he would be the perfect upgrade and replacement for Thomas Partey. But anyway, Gunners, that's it for now. Yusuf Fofana on the list of midfielders as well. I don't know if we'll get him, but for £30 million, I think it would be a really good deal. Of course, if you're new here, smash the subscribe button, smash the like button and turn on those notifications. Until next time, peace.